This is the fortune from my fortune cookie. Don't accept that others know better than you. Wow, I think we've encapsulated the anti-mask movement, the flat earthers, the red hat enthusiasts, everyone who does their own research, and Karens, all in a tiny slip of paper. Now, where is my antidote? Hey, Duke! Christmas card from my Aunt Karen. Oh no, it's cursive. Ah, um, just a little happy to help with some Christmas cheer. P.S. There are no nice restaurants where you live. Yeah, if there were nice restaurants where I lived, I wouldn't be able to afford it. Karen finds the smell of donuts too tempting? <clears throat> I'm sorry, we are temporarily restricted from making donuts as someone complained about the donut smell in the air. We are working to resolve as soon as possible. I'm here to kick Karen and eat donuts. And there aren't any donuts. The first Karen, 1923. Now, I, I need more on the behavior side to qualify it as a real Karen. There are guidelines for identifying the anomaly known as Karen. Standing up to Karens. I wish more businesses backed their staff this way. Be kind or leave. Many of our staff have been through a lot in the past year. If you can't treat them with the same courtesy and respect that they give to you, we kindly ask you to take your business elsewhere. Thank you, management. Good job, management. Your mother gave you a strange name, but you're a good person and you run a good business. Seems legit. Karen Interpreter, remote, 17 to $21 an hour. Ah. Oh, this should be a customer service job. The manager has been inside of you all along. Ah, crazy. Ahem, have you tried speaking to the manager within? What the hell is a Karen supposed to do if the manager herself is also a Karen? Manager, Karen at Walmart. Recursion loop, recursion loop. Reality helmets, everyone, we have a recursion loop. When your neighbor won't stop looking over the fence and mind their own business. This, this, and this, a long net Karen. 900 this. If that is English and is just a weird font, I apologize. It's my vision, but I, I think that's another language. It's green on white, so a little bit, little bit of a contrast issue. Sorry. A review for a local bar and grill. I was there to place an order for food, and I was early, uh, so I understood that. Um. Okay. Good for you. I told her I would have a margarita while I wait, and she just pretty much ignored me. Two people walked in and she said, we're not ready for people yet. She could have told me I wasn't going to get my drink before 11 o'clock. They're not open. What did you? Blah, 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 blah is a bunch of <laughs> tell you the truth. She had nothing else to do. She's not getting paid to serve you yet. Lazy, lazy, lazy. I will never go back in there again. Good. Uh, yes, please don't come back. You came before we were open and are mad because you didn't get served. Yeah. You must have really needed a margarita. This is a ridiculous review. Yeah, good point. Needing a margarita that bad before 11 a.m. Do you suppose if we banged on the door of another business before they opened, they would just let you in and serve you before they were open? Good grief. I've seen it all now. Good job. Well done, owner. Thank you. Yeah, people, people get so comfortable nowadays just saying anything and not getting clapped back on. And uh, and they need to, you know, be reminded that shut the hell up. Your words have consequences. And those consequences might be somebody else being like, I will respond in kind. The OG male Karen. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Cheerio Karen. Cheerio is in buyer. I'm at Sobeys and I'm at the self checkout Scanning my groceries. This woman walks in, puts her stuff at a till, only scans the Cheerios, pays for them, and leaves. What? Best part, security tries to bring her back and make her pay, but she body checked the guard and ran. Karen's on a whole new level. Wow, you wanna talk about lazy and entitled? That's lazy and entitled right there. Pull that stuff at Target and they'll eventually get you. Mm, typical gear. Karen open. Icelandic wool long sweater. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Which is a little sad, because I actually know nice people that wear that kind of stuff. But but yeah, it's it's the whole combination. It's a whole package. It's not just one thing. Wow, oh my god. The that's that's 20 tons memery right there. Lady at Starbucks went ballistic when they said they were out of cinnamon. When I ordered my espresso, I quietly said my name is Cinnamon. Hi, you have cinnamon again, it's me. Hello, I'm addicted to Starbucks. No, all of us kind, loving, respectful Karens need to rebel against this misguided use of our name. What started out as an odd insult is now really becoming hurtful and bullying 
to the wonderful women who are named Karen. I would like this to stop. Okay, controversial opinion. I know a nice Karen. Actually, no, two. I, somebody from grade school. Lovely people. And I genuinely feel sorry for them. Like, I, re I know that I know that Karen has been, a, you know, attached to the whole thing. And I get it. And I participate in it. I'm just as guilty as everyone else. But we just haven't found a good two-syllable descriptor for around 40-year-old entitled white woman with bob short haircut that's over-entitled to things, especially service. Tell me you don't know how to park without telling me you don't know how to park. Okay, Ugh. wait, I'm sorry. Okay, all right, hang on. We got two problems here. We got the Chevy who, who doesn't know that they don't need two sparking spots. And also they most likely don't need the dualies, but whatever, I, you know, I, I, been guilty of liking some redneck engineering stuff. So fine, whatever, you can have your dualies. But then we got the Dodge, I think, on the right, Dr. Afford. Also, you know, cramming themselves into half of the space and taking up half the space. Don't, don't encourage this. Do the birth of shame. Like let them set, you know, take up two parking spots and then, I don't know, hide eggs in their car so that in three weeks they find them. <laughs> or don't, or they might not find them. Be creative. You didn't hear that from me. Karen leaves a review and gets corrected and still thinks she's right. Oh, this is gonna be a high patience day, isn't it? Okay. Worst managed facility. Cool attractions for the kids, of course, but they messed up our passes and then made us spend 45 minutes talking with management, time lost, and did nothing to fix it. Wasted time, wasted money. Not much fun when you have toddlers and are on a schedule. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna stop you right there. I have a sibling that's like way younger than I was. So I was like, you know, almost in college when they were a toddler. You don't have toddlers and a schedule. I just, you don't. That's, that's an oxy. You don't, that's not how that works. Don't recommend. Yeah, I don't recommend having toddlers on a schedule. I'm glad we agree. Okay, and then we have a thanks which I'm going to skip, and then uh, we're going to go straight to the establishment's response. So I am sorry to hear about the mix-up with your passes today. As per our cameras, <laughs> the manager took less than 10 minutes to get everything squared away and was able to get everything restored to your card. You were still able to use your full five hour unlimited pass, which is what you paid for. Uh, mix-up happened. We try to do the best we can and are always seeking to make experiences better. We are sorry that you were unhappy. And then the response from the Karen, thanks for the response, management. Glad you know how much time it took to resolve rather than me, you know, the one with the three kids. Okay, if you have three toddlers and you have a schedule, you got some messed up. Anyways, appreciate you being in the know and looking after things. Looks like everyone else can just leave their watches at home too. Y yes. I mean, if you want to, you don't have to wear a watch. You can if you want. Time doesn't care if you wear a watch or not. Time is inevitable. It will merch on whether or not you're watching the clock or not. And a camera is gonna be way more accurate of a timepiece than a mother with three toddlers trying to keep them on a schedule. Guest appearance on Dr. Phil. Oh, uh, are they actually a Karen? Oh, they are. Is the name actually Karen? Okay, if they're not a Karen, like if they're not, a, I feel bad for them. Like I genuinely, cause like they've fallen right into the, this was a popular hairstyle at some point, <laughs> not now, but I'm, I, you know, at some point and some people just live in the past and I feel bad for them. Cause, cause the internet is here and it's just looking at them and being like, ugh. Anyways, I'm sorry. Entitled birthday Karen. Oh my God. Why is, why is there two paragraphs? Okay. Dear friends, every year I make it a point to make my birthday special. Not just for me, but to accommodate each and every one of you. This accent is the only thing getting me through this. Just let me have it. I put in so much time and effort into making sure that you are all comfortable and able to make it. That by the time my birthday arrives, I am physically and emotionally trained. So, this year I want to try something different. I want you to make an effort and plan my whole birthday for me. If you can call, text, and ask for my assistance any given time, day or night, you can do this. And if most of you, excluding those who actually helped me out a lot last year, can leave me with more than half the check, 
you sure as hell can chip in and make me feel special. Over the years, I have overextended myself to a lot of you, but all of the while, feeling unappreciated. So now, I'm being blunt. This is what I want. And if you don't come through for me, we're done. You have six weeks to prove you care about me. Start now. See, a little problem with Vlad the Karen here. If you overextend yourself to help other people, that's very nice and very noble, but th that doesn't accrue like a debt. Like you decide how you spend your energy. And if you overspend, just as if you overspent on somebody for a gift and that puts you in credit card debt, the person that received the debt is not, that's not their problem. Like they don't choose how you spend their energy. If you care about someone, you help them as much as you want to, and you don't ever expect anything in return. That's what you do for best friends. Like, that's just how it works. That's how life works. You don't accrue brownie points and expect to be able to cash them in later. If you want a giant birthday party and stuff, you can ask and be like, hey, I'd really like a day where I feel special. And I know it's silly, but like, I just, I just want that pamper day. If anybody would like to do that, and think it would sound fun for them because they like planning events and stuff like that. Some people like that. That then you can get it. You know, that, that's how you, that's how you go about it. Uh, you're not entitled to it, and it really just sounds like you need like a chill day and you need some real friends. Maybe just hang out with the people that have helped you a lot and just watch some movies, eat some pizza, and like take it down twenty notches. Yeah, yeah, maybe do that. Karens, let me speak to your manager. The, um, the pose, maybe. The haircut, not at, not at all. I'd like to speak to the manager and the police. I'd like to speak to the police manager. Oh my god. So wait, is it the size of the bouffant? Is that what it's called? God, in the guy's face, he just hates his life. Like, I feel sorry. I just, like, I want to pull up on my bike at 2 o'clock in the morning outside of his house and be like, get on. I don't drink, but I will take you to the nearest bar, and I will buy you as many beers as you can handle and a bunch of wings, and we'll play some pool or something. I suck, so you'll win. It'll be great. Just like a night out. If you don't like bars, we'll go to a movie. We'll go wherever you want. Just dude needs a freaking day. The kids look fine. The kids will probably be fine. The thin blue line flag worries me, but we're not gonna go there. When a problematic blacklisted guest decides to leave your hotel a review, Ah, uh, crap. Here we go again. You should be able to submit blacklisted ge uh, guest lists to review sites. Karen versus dog owner. I was taking my dog to the park, and as we walked by the playground, a couple kids ran up to see my dog, who loves kids. He was a minor celebrity to the kids at the park. Okay. So I kneeled down uh, so I could hold his harness and be in eye level with the kids. And they petted him. Uh, then after a couple kid anecdotes and telling me about their dogs, I stood up to walk off and had a woman follow me all the way to the dog section and threatened to call the cops if I ever did that again. So naturally, I did it as I left. <laughs> OP, you wonderful human. <laughs> And sure enough, she went and got the officer who stopped by the park on his patrol. After asking me a handful of questions, he told her to frack off. Uh, it's insane how brainwashed our culture is against men interacting with children in public open spaces in a completely safe way. Like, what? Was that, wait, was that the reason? I thought it was like the dog was dangerous or something. You saw a dude taking his dog to a park that had a dog area. And your reaction was call the police. Like, my dog wanted to talk to the kids, not me. <laughs> exactly. Like, I don't like kids, I'm sorry. I, they just, I just find them really annoying. But like, if a little kid ran up to pet Freya, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop the little kid. Like, come on, I love animals. And anybody else who loves animals, I'm gonna share with my dog. Like, my dog can meet you, that's fine. We don't need to get gender involved. Meet Karen, the bridezilla. All I, all I saw was a bunch of question marks at the end. And I know this is gonna be a ride. I need advice! My fiance and I are having lots of issues right now. We can't stop fighting, and I don't know what to do. I quit my job because wedding planning was taking up so much time. I've seen this one before, and my fiance is refusing to get a second job. He doesn't understand that I don't have time to get ready for work, drive to work, be somewhere else all day, and drive home. I need to be home to plan this wedding. I'm trying to find a job from home, but it's difficult. I asked him to get a second job, and he won't. It really pisses me off. Is pisses a swear word now? Wow, the advertiser's getting aggressive. 
because we are spending $80,000 on this wedding. And it keeps saying that we should spend less. Oh my Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, hello, no. This is my wedding. I have been dreaming of it since I was little, and I refuse to have anything but my dream wedding. How can I convince him to work a second job to pay for this? What happened to happy wife, happy life? Well, I think happy wife, happy life was a coping mechanism and was never meant to be advice. And second off, that is a down payment, unlike a house, like a capital H, how big house? What is wrong with you? $80,000. Fiance, I know this is in the past. I know you won't hear me. Call off the engagement and leave her now. But I'm Karen, restaurant in France. Oh, oh, it's just, it's just a, it's just a restaurant. I, I feel bad for them because like it might not, you know, the joke may not land the same over there. I don't know, maybe it does. Found this on a review for Nintendo Switch Sports. The full review of Nintendo Sports should not be this long. <laughs> Parents of little ones beware. Oh my God. We've had this game for two months. It's one my kids play daily. They love playing against each other, and occasionally, we all get to play. It's not as fun as Weary Sports used to be. Oh yeah, I've heard the Scott the Waz rant. But uh, we have a really fun time all together. Bowling is our favorite. I had no complaints about this game until tonight, when one of the rewards for bowling in the leagues was demons? Demons? Seriously? As a reward? What? what? <laughs> I don't know why it isn't related to any of this. Oh, I see. I don't know why, comma, it isn't related to any of the sports, but demons of all things is not okay. My kids are young. I don't want them to see that. They don't need to see that. Why couldn't this be a clean, fun family? What demons are you? <laughs> why does demonic stuff always have to be infiltrated into anything our kids see or do? If you see demons everywhere, please seek medical attention. As a mama, I'm tired of seeing all of this and explaining to my young babies what all this garbage is. This was too much. It doesn't come with a disclaimer. It's beyond disappointing and such a fail on Nintendo. We won't be playing this again. This wasn't okay and was totally unnecessary. I'm gonna look this up because I have no idea what they're talking about. Okay, all right, I was wrong. There's an Angel and Demon collection that came out in uh, late October. By cost 1,200 points in the online mode. Uh, okay. It's just costumes and stuff. I mean, if you really don't want demons, oh, I, I wouldn't have expected that. But yeah, okay, cool. I totally wrong there. This guy's got the right idea. I get fracked, Karen. I, am, I I'm glad you put this on the back of a, of a Civic. Yes, a Civic Sport hatchback, but still. Karen is sad that teenagers live in our town who would dare to walk on the road near her house. Last night around 10.30 p.m., Two kids walked down blank road towards blank past my driveway. Kid was talking on the phone, arranging for his buddy to pick him up, saying, I'm on blank. I know where I am. My house is nearby. Sent the dog out to bark at them and they ran and I yelled after they started running. Blank stealthed them and watched them get in their buddy's car by blank, maybe a burgundy blazer. Keep your eyes and ears open and your door is locked. I'm sad this this person lives in our town. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm legally blind, I can't drive. I either walk or I take my e-bike or scooter places. I work night shift, so daytime for me is 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. and I don't go out much at night. But I would either be walking or biking past somebody's driveway if I was going somewhere at night. Like if I went to see a movie and on my way home, I would be walking. What did you expect me to do? It is 10.30 p- This isn't like two o'clock in the morning. I get how people get jumpy in rural areas. Like I live in a much more rural area now and I've noticed myself being like, oh, what's that car driving? Cause we, we don't get like three cars on the street in total a, a day. So like, yeah, I get that, but like, not immediately being like, oh, it's just somebody like their friends picking them up. Chill. The Rock want to speak to your manager. Oh God. His group wasn't seated fast enough. And now he's furious. Dwayne Johnson. I'd like to speak to the manager. R slash the Bubby. Nice to see you here. One of my favorites. My kids and husband hate vegetables. So your recipe is garbage. Oh, why is it always a paragraph? Hi. 
Hi, Luna and the little Luna team. By the way, I'm not complaining about the length because I don't like doing the subreddit. Reading text off an image is just slower because of my eyes. I'd like to inform you about this atrocity. That is this recipe. It was absolutely disgusting, as said by my husband and kids. They hated the carrots and the flavor, and it didn't help that they hate veggies. I was counting on this recipe to work since it's technically sweet carrots, but they felt that I was tricking them and lying. They called me many profanities that day. Whoa, the dysfunction continues. They said it tasted as if someone put sugar on a carrot, which was exactly what I did. So I'm guessing that's how it technically was supposed to taste. Which is awful if that was the intended taste. Oh, okay, all right, oh, okay, um, hi, Emily. Bless you, little Luna, for having the patience to actually respond to this crap. Thanks for the feedback. Uh, sorry to hear this recipe wasn't a hit for your family. And that they aren't veggie fans. Hopefully there is another recipe either on our website or out there somewhere that might help them see how yummy vegetables can be. Thanks for giving the recipe a try. Bless you, little Luna, for just... Bernie or the Little Luna social media, whoever wrote that. Well done. You just, you glazed right through that. I mean, if you want your husband and kids to eat vegetables, start by asking which vegetables they hate the least. And if they say all of them, they're just being difficult. But don't try to trick them into, you know, recipe. On the, on the other side of the coin, husband and kids, one, grow up. I don't like vegetables, but I eat salads and stuff. And two, don't, don't ever call somebody who cooked you food profanities. What the hell is wrong with you? My local Mexican restaurant near the affluent Burbs has a Karen salad. Karen salad, carrots, red onion, Roman lettuce, spinach, cucumbers, feta cheese, avocado, cherry, tomatoes, and croutons. Stir with chipotle ranch dressing, shrimp, beef, chicken, or fish. Fish, fish. I am very slightly disappointed that I read through that entire thing. There wasn't a manager reference, but I'm, I, I mean, the salad actually looks pretty good. I mean, it's not like I'll eat anything that has chipotle ranch on it, though, so I'm biased. Karen shames a small business for not allowing her to be late to her appointment. Not sure who else has had experience uh, with this place, but all I can say is I'll never return. Feels like she should have a cackle after it. It was our first time. Waited two days to get an appointment. Oh, two days? What is this for? Arrived at 6.17, two minutes after appointment. Okay, and we're told uh, we were late and uh, this, the, the person uh, was with the next customer. However, she took this customer just as we walked in. I've never in my life been turned away for being two minutes late. Apparently they have a five minutes grace period. Blank wouldn't even look at us. This is horrible customer service. I like supporting small businesses, but this one I will not. Uh, what a shame. Oh, it's a hair shop. Well, I'm guessing what haircut they were getting. First off, waiting two days for an appointment. The, the appointment for my like triple color, like weird hair stuff. Like that was three months out, four months out. So shut up on that. Two, you should be on time. Three, two minutes though. Like that's, that's kind of, kind of fuzzy. Especially because the next person knows they weren't going to be taken at 6.15 or 6.17. So like they should be understanding. It's like, oh, there's the 6.15 person. I'll just wait. Like they would, two minutes is a little, yeah, that's a little, assuming she's telling the truth. I'm guessing what actually happened is that she walked in at like 6.25 and was like, oh, I was only two minutes late. I had toddlers and I was on a schedule and I don't know what time it is. I got called a Karen earlier, but I really don't think that I was being a Karen. Ooh, I love these. It's like a suburban version of AITA. There was a post on social media about celebs who had their nudes leaked. Okay. A girl commented saying, well, most of them have been nude in movies anyway. So what's the difference? I can think of a list. Uh, I replied by saying the difference is consent. Oh, that, that would be the first on the list. Yes. Uh, she responded saying, well, I've already seen them naked. You you think you have in movies. Uh, so what does it matter if their nudes are leaked? To which I replied saying, once again, the difference is consent. I really hope you understand what consent means. And the girl said, okay, Karen. Uh, okay, they, this, you didn't call it Karen. They, they just responded with, okay, Karen. Okay, Karen is separate from the name Karen. Consent is I will, I'm okay being seen in this context for this creative or artistic endeavor, or they are using a body double, which is a thing, and they didn't consent to actually being naked. And two, those pictures weren't for the public. The, the movie was for the public. Like, what part of this is, I, 
<sighs> also, you didn't see them completely like the same because the movie wouldn't be rated R. Hit me with your cart. I'm hitting you back. Woman, uh, say mid fifties, ran into my butt. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm tired. With her shopping cart because she's in a rush uh, to self checkout this AM. Asked her if she meant to grab a handful and she said nothing and went on her way. I smacked her card on my way out and she snarls, excuse you. To which my youngest sibling laughs in her face and we keep walking. She's mad, staring us down as we're leaving, laughing like arseholes. Like she hit me to the point I was jolted forward, ignored me asking her about it, but expects me to apologize for doing the same to her cart. Where do these people come from? Yeah, uh, controversial opinion. And I do not condone this officially, but respond with the same amount of respect you are shown. That's all I'm going to say. I know you're supposed to be, be the big person and like turn cheek and like keep the peace. I don't. <laughs> I, I never have. Local Karen is angry. Gas station is closed on Christmas Eve, the day after a really bad snowstorm swept through. Why would it be open dis regardless of the storm? It's Christmas Eve. Why? why? <sighs> It's still advised to stay home if you can help it because of the roads. That makes sense. Uh, just went to UDF. Uh, it says they are open until 11. Doors are locked. And uh, the people inside are saying they are closed. Unreal on Christmas Eve. Do better, UDF. If if you're in a, you're in a country that is primarily Christian presenting, I'll use that term, like the US, like, you know, th there's a lot of Jesus here. Um, the, I would I would expect the gas station to be closed on Christmas Eve because everybody's celebrating Christmas. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I would not expect to be able to get gas. I know some places are open and you know that that you know, fine if people want to get overtime and like stuff like that, like that's fine. Some people don't celebrate Christmas, go for it, get some overtime. But why why are you so entitled to the idea of it being open? It should be closed on a holiday. I'm gonna kill my voice yelling at these people. Oh god. Found in my town's Facebook group. There are some things I would like to see here that needs to be changed in 2023. One, have all renter properties, yards mowed and kept up. I've seen so many rental properties where the grass is not mowed and when it's high enough to invite snakes, etc., it makes the entire neighborhood look shabby. Ooh, it's one of those HOA people. If it isn't moved, uh, then get address and report it. Ooh. Make Sherwood a warm invitation for people to come and live here. Tell you what, I just moved uh, the height of the grass of the people around the properties I was looking at. It played zero part. Maybe if there was like 10 cars in the in the yard and they were all falling apart and like there was a guy, you know, throwing beer bottles at you from the corner. I'm, you know, I might not have gone there, but ban all fireworks being brought, bought or sold. Wow. Last night was the worst I have heard it, and it sounded like it was a war zone. Three, enforcement of a curfew. Wow. Nobody needs to be out after midnight except medical and police and fire departments. Hi, I work in IT. When do you think we do all of our updates and maintenance? If all of this could be enforced, then maybe we could make Sherwood a safer place to live. Oh, and there's comments. There's more. Here are some things I would like to see here that needs to be changed in 2023. <clears throat> Mind your own business. <laughs> yes. 54 reactions and mostly like Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Our town Sherwood, or Arkansas. Never ever going there. God, that is the opposite of a warm invitation. This gargoyle would like to speak to the manager. <laughs> oh my God. Seeing someone who is clearly sick, literally pull their mask down to speak to you more clearly. <laughs> How did you find this? This is just, oh, this is beautiful. Found this review of a fire station while trying to find directions to meet up with Buddy. Had no idea you could uh, you could leave reviews of fire station. Let's see what we got. We appreciate the service, but the inhabitants close to this firehouse who are among children, the elderly, disabled people, people in general, we ask that you please try to consider that they do not work with the sirens at such high noise. They can work with the lights or with a single sound. Are you complaining about fire engines using their sirens to try to punch through people's cars so that the people inside can hear a many tron ton truck full of water coming down the highway behind them are, are is, is, I can't I 
can't. I can't. I, I can't. Oh my god. Found this in a Dutch store carn carnival section. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I like that the brand is called Fries. Um. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Uh, but that looks like Karen. Karen mad about parents. So my brother goes to an elementary school. There's a wild Karen there who hates that parents are picking up their kids. As, as the pickup area is on her street. Oh, okay. This may be acceptable, but she has gone up to people's cars and yelling at parents. She's called and harassed the principal, protested online, even tried for a lawsuit once, I believe. My dad has encountered her on, on, on a hunt for prey. Uh, uh, phrasing? She went up... Uh, okay, wait. <laughs> Hang on. Wait, yeah. My dad has encountered her on a hunt for prey. This, this either sounds like your dad is looking for Karens or looking for children. And it really needs to be clarified. She went up to his car, knocked on the window to lure in the quarry, then striked, yelling at him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's try and let rewritten a little, okay? My dad has encountered her on her hunt for prey. She went up to his car. There. Fixed it. Knocked on the window to lure in the quarry, then striked, yelling at him and going crazy over him, daring to bring his child home from school. My dad escaped with his life, and she's still hunting. I'm glad your dad's okay. I, I, I hope your literature classes go well. Creative writing will be very helpful for you, I'm sure. Number one alpha male TM that claimed depression was weakness complains over inconveniences. Andrew Tate says his jail cell in Romania is dark and infested with cockroaches and lice. Can, can you get lice in your beard? Cause like he doesn't, he doesn't have any hair. So like, like I, I know lice are, you know, a problem, but, but he, he's got some fuzz now, but like he was aggressively bald. Unless he was yelling crap and infested with cockroaches. Man, if a place is infested with cockroaches in New York City, that's that's an extra, you know, thousand dollars a month because it's not infested with rats. The statue at the top of the Texas State Capitol building looks like a mean arse Karen. That would explain a lot of their laws, especially around trans people. Watch out. Be careful out there. They are shipping now. Who the hell is shipping? Ca oh, uh, oh, I've spent too much time on Tumblr again. Um, uh, tag Herons, the shipping company. Uh, yeah, I, at least they would, they would know how to do customer service, I hope, but I feel sorry for any of the vendors that they work with. If you hear the ice in my cup, your tip is disappearing. Well, then I just won't put ice in it. Like, that, that's the solution. Also, if I'm paying for drinks and it's some sort of like bottomless thing, fill the whole glass with ice. I'd rather it be cold as hell and just have a little bit of drink and just keep that, that tiny bit of drink coming and I will tip you extra for doing me that favor because I just like it really cold. The end. When Karen is an LOTR fan. Tell me, where is your manager? For I much desire to speak with him. To Isengard, to Isengard. Couple hate Last Christmas by Wham! So much, they're trying to buy the song rights so they can take it off the air. It is overplayed. It is objectively overplayed. But Hannah and Thomas Mazzetti hate the song so much, they hope this will be the last Christmas. The song will be poisoning the airwaves. Wow, you, you guys, you guys just sap the fun out of everything, don't you? And Charles Barker, employees celebrated. Please fill my window washer fluid all the way up. I expect it to last six months, not three or four months. If I get shortchanged on window washer fluid. It makes me wonder if the other fluids are filled to their optimal levels. I stopped going to Charles Barker Toyota service because of this. And if I find that it happens again, I won't be back. First off, I think they're supposed to be filled to the fill line because, you know, stuff expands and stuff. I don't know, you know, I don't know what card. Two, uh, the correct response is I have to overfill the hell out of it or underfill it and never have to talk to them again. Charles Barker employees had the right freaking idea. Secret Karen training manual. The little engine that could by Waddy Piper. Yeah, that, that's kind of how getting hit by Karen feels like. I present to you Amityville Karen found on Tubi. Amityville, oh wow, you weren't kidding. It's a horror, it's an actual horror story. Wait, does she like take on? Every neighborhood has a Karen and Amityville is no exception. Wait, does Karen buy the Amityville horror house? 
and like scare all the demons out of it. She sends the pig straight out through the boathouse in like one swipe. The cashier touched my bottle. Cashiers in small convenience stores should not be offended when a customer wants to hold the bottle under the scanner and not be touched by the cashier. But instead, twice in the same store in the north end of bar were offended and instead of thanking me and asking if I wanted anything else, I was insulted by those cashiers. Yes, I responded in kind. Really? Interesting? Do you have any idea how many people have touched, sneezed, simply breathing on any item in the store? <laughs> yes. So you're holding it to the scanner is not helping you in any way to avoid germs uh, if that's what you want to that's what you are trying to do. Yeah, who do you think in a small convenience store put the bottle on the shelf to begin with? They've already touched it. They probably restocked it this morning. I am doomed. Today, I finally realized my own mother is a Karen. She complained that uh, when at McDonald's, the drive-thru workers scammed her because they added ice that she didn't ask for. She yelled at them and got a free drink. Please send help. I'm so sorry. Yeah, if you don't want ice, you have to say no ice. Like that, in what universe has that ever, are you new to McDonald's or any fast or any place?